Hey, welcome to Soul Awareness with Constance Mesmer. In today's episode, I am going to give you a visualization. So you need to turn off your phones and not be driving (laughs) because otherwise they won't work. Well, although maybe it could actually, but anyway, don't try try this driving. Take a minute to sit down and uh, go through this exercise with me. I hope you'll enjoy it. So are you a coffee person or a tea person or a hot chocolate person? I'm going to base this visualization on one of those, all right? So I invite you to be seated with no distractions while you listen to this. I invite you to close your eyes. I want you to think about your kitchen. I want you to walk through it in your mind. I want you to hear your footsteps on the floor. And I want you to imagine yourself there so that you can really picture yourself in your kitchen. Really see it. Look around. Noticing the colors on the walls. The countertops. Reach out and touch the countertops. Are they cool to the touch? Look around the lighting, the placement of the appliances. Maybe there's a lingering smell. I want you to imagine that you're getting ready to make your favorite morning drink. Imagine and hear yourself getting your cup or your glass from the cupboard or the peg or the shelf. I want you to take a moment to feel it in your hands. Turn it over and over in your hands and see what it's made of, appreciating it. Noting the color and how it feels in your hand, if it's heavy or light. Smooth, if there's writing on it. Now I want you to set this mug or cup on the counter. And when you do, I want you to hear the sound that it makes when it makes contact with the counter. You've heard it a thousand times before. This is no different. Now, I want you to imagine that you are making this favorite morning drink. Hear the familiar sounds in your mind as you go through each of the steps. Perhaps you're scooping some coffee grounds or dropping a tea bag in or boiling water on the stove top or turning a switch on a maker. I want you to imagine all that's ready now and the drink is pouring or you're pouring the water, the liquid, the drink into your mug. And I want you to feel the warmth now, or perhaps it's a cold drink and you've added ice cubes. Feel the temperature in your mug now, in your glass now. I want you to hold the drink up to your nose and smell it. Smell the aroma. You know the aroma. You've probably smelled it a million times, yeah? Take a big whiff. Really soak it in. I want you to take a little sip. Noting the temperature and the first taste. I want you to feel the liquid going down your throat. I want you to savor the experience. Take a few more sips so that you can repeat the sensations. Allow them to linger. Appreciate your favorite morning ritual like this. Noticing the taste. The temperature both in your hands and the warmth as it goes in and down your throat. 
I want you to look into the mug. I want you to see your hands holding it. I want you to savor the experience and appreciate it. Really being in the moment. And now, when you are ready, I want you to bring your awareness back to the room you're sitting in and open your eyes. This visualization, this guided meditation, gave you a sensorial illustration as to how psychic communication can happen within your imagination. As I've told you, the imagination is an organ of psychic perception. So I wanted you to pay attention to how you were able to see those things in your mind's eye. Your kitchen appliances, the mug or cup in your hand. I wanted you to notice the sensation and the feeling of the warmth or the coolness when you put your hands around the mug or touched your countertop. I wanted you to notice the subtleness of the smells when you brought them into your imagination. The aroma that your ritual morning drink offers you when you take a moment to notice. I wanted you to subtly turn your attention to the awareness of the taste and the feeling of the liquid going down your throat. It's just an exercise for you to realize this is how subtle psychic impressions can be. Some happen on an inner level, much like how you could imagine this whole morning scene. Other forms of psychic awareness happen externally with the external eye being able to see actually with your physical eye, with your skin feeling things. with your ear physically actually hearing things. But oftentimes it's on an inner level like this, hearing your own footsteps on the floor and all that we just went through. I just wanted you to have the experience of how subtle this work can be. In this work, in the psychic work, I use the word imagination as the realm where we have imaging experiences happen, not as in, ooh, I made that up. No, <laughs> in this work, those images occur within the mind's eye. And it seems sometimes that you're making it up, but I'm going to teach you about discernment. In psychology, imagination refers to the ability to mentally represent sensations that are not physically present. So that's why you can kind of contemplate the smell and the taste of something and the feel of something without actually seeing or tasting or feeling it. You are engaging in active imagination when you're doing that. If you've just started joining me because I've opened up to other podcast platforms, I invite you to listen to the previous segments because I am teaching in quite a sequential order. One will spill into the next, to the next, to the next, and I don't want you to miss anything. Especially it's important because I'm going to begin the teaching that I offer on a deeper level. Um, the teaching is going to be on a deeper level. and. All the lessons build one upon the other. So welcome to Soul Awareness with Constance Mesmer. <laughs> Do you feel like we've been waiting around the baby pool before I take you deeper swimming to learn 
you know, the technique of skilled swimming on a greater level, or maybe even like the bunny slopes where I'm going to make you like go the basics before I take you to hit the moguls. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. I just really want to get your feet wet before we go further into what your experience can be about. And so I appreciate your going with me on today's journey. Thank you so much. You have been listening to Soul Awareness with Constance Mesmer. Thanks for tuning in. Legally speaking, this podcast is presented solely for educational, spiritual, and entertainment purposes. It is not intended as a substitute for medical diagnosis, treatment, or the advice of a physician, psychotherapist, or other qualified professional. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat a health problem or condition. Always check with your doctor. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. If you've enjoyed this episode of Soul Awareness with Constance Mesmer, we'd like to encourage you to continue your spiritual journey with this next episode.